Stay tuned to hear me spill the academic tea. Hey Titans, it's Friday, May 19th. I'm Hiron Esquivel, and this is Everyday Titan. Guess the bootlegged host is back. Yeah, well, sometimes the bootleg version is just as good and a better bargain, so. Who doesn't love saving money? The counseling team will hold a morning chat with 11th grade parents on Monday, May 22nd at 9 a.m. at the King Street Auditorium. So let your folks know. You can now purchase your 2017 yearbook in C114, period one, Titan Time, and A104 after school. The book is uh, $75 and limited copies are available. This is a book you don't want to miss out on. <laughs> T.C. Williams High School Drama Department presents its spring musical, Dream Girls. The musical will be performed today, Friday, May 19th at 7.30 p.m. and tomorrow, Saturday, May 20th, at 2 p.m. and 7.30 p.m. at the King Street Auditorium. Grab a ticket and support your fellow Titans. Don't forget that anyone interested in joining the debate team may come Monday after school to get ready for next season. The club meets in B228. All are welcome. Students and staff, please join the sixth annual World Dance Showcase on May 26 at 7 p.m. in the TC Auditorium. They will have performances in hip-hop, jazz, West African styles, and much, much more. Admission is free. I've been called a goat more times than I can keep track of, and I don't have any idea what it means. Like, at first I was, I was offended. Like, you'd be offended too if you were called a goat. So, I mean, let's take a look. Welcome back to Bingo Lingo. We thought TC was too small, so we need to go somewhere bigger. I'm Leon Story, and I'm in DC. Today's word is goat. The origins comes from Middle English goat, from Old English get, akin to the Old High German gies goat. Old Norse get, Latin hadius, kid, in dictionary.com. Goat means a small animal related to the sheep. The urban dictionary definition is the greatest of all time. So, let's see the goats in DC. What does the word goat mean? Goofy? Uh, well, to me, the word goat is just to do with a farm animal. I think it's something negative because most animal comparisons usually carry a negative connotation. Like, as your colleague just said, calling someone a dog, calling someone a pig. That's normally something you don't want to do. Um, the greatest of all time. Getting to them in some way. Joking? I have an old definition of goat, and goat meant you hopped on it and you rode it. I don't know, it just has sort of negative connotations with uh, like the Baphomet and stuff, kind of evil. Greatest of all time. A goat is an animal. Uh, I mean, a lot of people think that it's it's the animal, but the goat kind of, it's kind of like the greatest of all time, the best at. Can you use it in a sentence? Um, Tony Hawk used to be the goat of skateboarding. There's a goat down there. You're such a goat. I took my goat to the farm. Common, most common thing I would think of is like something like calling someone your goat, like behave better, stuff like that. Uh, Fran Tarkington is the goat of NFL quarterbacks. Muhammad Ali is the goat. Obama is the goat. The last goat I rode was a long time ago. Yeah, that's a really nice goat over there on your farm. That was DC. Now for TC. You know what the word goat means? <laughs> Go means like ghost. Goat. goat. Oh, goat. Um, just means like, yeah, like you likes that. I mean, oh, you want me to find the word? 
Um, an animal. No, it's like, it's like you're the boss. <laughs> the like, greatest of all time. Yeah, yeah, that. It's an animal. Isn't that like uh, an awesome person, right, or something? Oh, giver of all things. Greatest of all time. Can you use it in a sentence? I'm the goat. I'm the goat. Nah. <laughs> it's time to go out and feed the goat. Oh, my friend is a goat. My friend has a goat. It sounds like Taylor Swift. Uh, that man's a goat. Tropical Smoothie is the goat. Wow, DC got a lot of goats. Well, that's it for today. I'm Leon Story, Abdul Khan on the camera, here on Everyday Titan. Wow, I'm 10 years late. Thanks to Abdul Khan and Leon Story for that package. Seniors in the Math Honor Society, the deadline for your tassel payment of $5 is due no later than May 25th. If you went on the Hidden Figures field trip, you do not have to pay. Check your email for details. Titans, check out this new sweatshirt that just arrived in the school store. <laughs> they also um, have summer shirts. Uh, they have limited quantities, so stop by today to check the, <laughs> this new apparel and all the Titan gear in the school store. It will be closing in just a few short weeks, so the store is the store is located in the cafeteria and is open during all lunches. Here's what's happening this weekend in sports. Only 20 more, 21, 29 more days till graduation. Seniors already down into the 20s. Finally, congratulations to the TC Williams Varsity Boys team. They will advance and host the first round of the regional tournament that starts next Tuesday. Also, congratulations to the girls varsity team. Despite a tough loss to Lake Braddock yesterday, they will also advance to the regional tournament and will travel to Patriot High School for their first round game next Tuesday at 6 p.m. Go Titans! <laughs> well, that's all we have for you today, Titans. Next week will be a very wishy-washy schedule due to SOL testing. Yay. At least you have the weekend to catch up on rest and to relax. Today's isn't enough. Uh, you already know everyone's going to be up all night working nonstop on the Buckets of last minute work and projects that were assigned to us. Teachers, am I right? No. <laughs> On that note, see you all Monday. <laughs> <laughs>